Job interview anxiety 2020. Boy, this is a big issue in a job interview. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about anxiety and why it exists, how it affects a job interview, and then more importantly, I'm going to give you four ways that you can combat that job interview anxiety so that you can go out and do your best performance. What up, fam? Dr. James W. Stalkup, a.k.a. Jimmy Joe Coltrane. Let's get started. How common is job interview anxiety? It is present in every single interview that has ever been conducted ever in the history of the world. Now, is it that much right below the surface that is not going to affect our job interview performance? Or is it crippling, debilitating, interview wrecking anxiety? Well, I want it to be the first one, and I'm going to give you, if you watch the end of the video, I'm going to cover four different methods that we can use to mitigate the anxiety. Real quick, if you like learning about job interviews, click like, click subscribe, brand new channel. It really helps to get some subscribers. And I do have the full interview dynamics course now online. It's extremely reasonably priced. That is start to finish a course of me doing lectures to teach you exactly what you need to know to develop personalized content and go out and get the job you want. Back to anxiety. So what are the manifestations of anxiety? Well, the most problematic, in my opinion, is it will make your answers run long. Job interview anxiety leads to freestyling, feeling uncomfortable with your answer so you add on to your answer which makes you feel more uncomfortable which makes you add on more and puts you in a never-ending feedback loop of running too long with your answers now in 2020 this is even worse why because we do so many virtual interviews and a virtual interview needs to have much shorter answers people lose engagement on a screen quicker than they do in person Here's an example. I have to go through these videos and edit out every pause that's like more than a second and a half. And the reason is, is because viewers will switch YouTube videos if there are any pauses. But if I were in your living room talking with you right now, pauses would be a normal part of the conversation. So you see, when it's virtual, you have to keep your answer shorter and anxiety will make that difficult. It'll make it harder to do. We may also have anxiety with the virtual platform. So 2020 has changed that as well. These virtual platforms can really induce anxiety, especially if you're trying to fail over from the app login to the browser-based login or from the browser-based login to the phone. So it's crucial to practice with the actual virtual platform you're going to be using in that job interview. But yo, it's not just that it makes the answers long because it also hurts your confidence, which makes you appear unconfident. You see, people are genetically programmed to find confident people endearing and people who are endearing are people who get jobs. So shaking that confidence is a big issue with having anxiety. Also, it will affect your nonverbal communication, your posture, all of the communication that you're doing through your body language, facial expressions will be impacted by anxiety. So, yo, we got to solve it. We got to solve it. You're not going to be able to remove it. If you are looking at me to give you methods to completely bring your anxiety to zero, it's not going to happen in a job interview. But we're going to make it manageable through four methods. Method number one, depersonalize the interviewer. That is not a person. That obstacle is not a person. Depersonalization of the interviewer is the reason that I call the person conducting the job interview an obstacle. I do not want you thinking of that as a person who has a career, who has a family, who has impact on your ability to earn money and your ability to land a job. You are the only thing that affects your ability to land a job. Once you start looking at anyone else as a source of your success, you're going to have problems because that puts them in a position of authority. That is somebody's brother-in-law who talked their way into a management position. That is an obstacle that you have to overcome. You may never see that person again after the job interview. That may not be your manager. Obviously, if it's a small business, it probably will be. But that is to be viewed as an obstacle that you have to overcome. No different than a rock or a log on a trail that you're walking down. 
You have to depersonalize that interviewer. You cannot let that interviewer rise to a position of authority in your mind because it will undermine what you're trying to do. Method two, develop personalized content. So in my online course, we have personalized content to the 40 most probable questions and we tell you how to handle illegal questions. I want you to have a script. There are other job interview teachers who recommend that you not have a script. I think you should have a script. Now, it is not a word-for-word -word script. It's kind of a bullet-pointed list of items to cover, and you practice it until you get to a routine. Here's why. Imagine the anxiety that an actor would have if he shows up on a movie set with Martin Scorsese, and Martin Scorsese says, okay, now in this scene, just be yourself. And the actor says, well, there's supposed to be a script. There's supposed to be, he said, no, 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 we, we're not using a script. You just go up there and do whatever you feel is natural. Now, as far as nonverbal communication, the actor may be very adept, but there is going to be a massive amount of anxiety if someone does not say, these are the things you are supposed to say. When you are training to job interview, you should be learning the things that you are supposed to say. If you are scripted in your answers, it will remove anxiety because you have already worked out your plan before you've walked into the room. I cannot stress this enough. Personalized content is crucial to you being the best applicant that they are going to encounter. It's crucial. You have to have that personalized content. Third thing we need to do is practice realistically. Don't goof off. You should practice your job interview. Condition yourself to feel like that is a real job interview. I don't care if your practice partner is your neighbor, your little sister, your buddy, your mom. You need to practice as realistically as you can. You need to wear your one interview outfit. You need to wear the same outfit every single time. You need to have a set that may be a little bit unfamiliar to you. You need to figure out, go to Starbucks and do it at Starbucks. Go sit out on a patio uh, of, of some restaurant and, and conduct an interview. This is crucial to you being able to deliver that personalized content. The more real you make it, the more it's going to assuade your anxiety. They condition police dogs not to always bite people on training grounds. They condition police dogs to bite people who may be doused with alcohol, who may be running around inside a house or a warehouse or some other place that's going to make it more realistic. They want the dog to feel like the training is realistic so that the dog is not somehow put off when the game changes venue, right? We want the training to be as realistic as possible. Um, if you study you know, military training and how realistic they try to make it for the soldiers because they don't want them to encounter things that are entirely unfamiliar. Now, it's always going to be different, but we want to condition ourselves to be able to react to these different conditions in a positive way. You've heard me say it a dozen times, wear the same interview outfit. When an athlete puts on the pads, they start to assume the role of a participant in a sport. When you put on that outfit, you are going to begin to condition yourself to assume the role of the applicant who is going in there to deliver the best interview that the obstacle has ever seen. And the fourth thing that we can do to assuade our anxiety in a job interview, try to control the environment. Now, I have long said don't interview outside the office because that unfamiliar territory can be weird in a job interview. Plus, a lot of these obstacles are creepy, lonely, thirsty dudes. Now, with coronavirus, I actually have an updated video uh, interviewing outside of the office. I think you should probably watch that video now in 2020, it may be safer to interview outside, right? The open air kind of disperses the virus uh, better than sitting inside and breathing the same air in a room with poor ventilation with someone. So that may change things. But then again, that goes back to practicing being in those venues. If you're not comfortable drinking alcohol, don't drink alcohol. If you're not comfortable eating food in front of someone, try to steer it away from that. Use whatever means you can to reasonably and in a non-objectionable way make the setting something that you feel comfortable with. I have often said I hate eating in front of people in a business environment. I hate it. Um, it's like my nightmare. Uh, we have you know dinners and things that we go to, 
and you're sitting there with a bunch of colleagues, people you work with, maybe vendors, uh, people who you may work with someday down the road. And it's like my greatest fear. I hate it. So I try to minimize that where I can. And once again, when we're talking about the fourth method, having control of your environment, know whatever virtual method, whatever virtual platform you're connecting with. No Zoom, no WebEx, no Skype for business, Link, Google Hangouts, whatever you're using, know how to use it. There are typically three ways to join a meeting. There is the application, whether it's desktop or mobile, there's joining in a browser window, and there is a phone number. You need to have all three of those methods under control before you actually go into the interview. All right, that sums it up. Four methods to deal with anxiety. Click like, click subscribe, and thanks for watching.